Santa Clara City Library presents 360 Camera Tips and Tricks. How to Power on a 360 Camera To power on the camera, you will push the button on the top of the camera once and wait until the light turns green to use the camera. To take a photo, you will push the top button just once take a video, you will push the button twice. And as you can see, it is now flickering. To turn off the camera, you will hold down on the top button until the light turns off. How to download the Insta360 app. For the purpose of this video, we will be using my iPhone. As you can see here, we are going to go to the App Store type in Insta360, search, and then we are going to download the app. How to connect 360 camera to app via Bluetooth. So we are now going to open up the app. As we're waiting, a few permissions are gonna pop up. You do not have to allow any of them in order to use the app. You're then gonna click on the yellow button on the right hand corner, then shoot. And then we are gonna enable Bluetooth on our device and then we're going to go to the left corner click on the yellow camera left corner again which is the Bluetooth click on the camera and then confirm in the upper right corner okay we are now connected how to take photos via Bluetooth we are now going to go over the different modes to shoot in. So our first is photo and here are the settings for photos. So you can add a timer. You can choose from a variety of different camera settings. You can also modify the exposure. You can add a filter if you choose and you can enable raw footage as well. And we will now go back to video, which is the next mode to shoot in. And again, you're going to get the same camera options as well. The exposure, different filters you can use. And then you also have the option of doing time lapse where you can choose the total recording time and the frame intervals as well. And this can be done with interval shooting as well. So you get the option to change the total recording time and frame interval. How to view footage shot remotely on the app. In order to view the footage that you've captured on your camera, you will need a mobile device and camera. You're going to turn over the camera and unlock the lightning pin. If you have an Android device, we do have an adapter that will allow you to do this with your Android device. For this video, we will be using an iPhone and you will just insert it in and on the device. And then we are going to allow the camera to connect to our iPhone and then open the app, activate now. And as you can see here, there is some footage that some of our staff members captured. You can see um, an example photo. And there will be a tutorial that will show you how to navigate. How to use the invisible selfie stick. Using the selfie stick is pretty straightforward. You will need your camera and selfie stick and you will be inserting the selfie stick to the bottom of the camera on the opposite side of the camera lens. How to use the Android adapter. In order to connect your camera to an Android device, you will need to use the Android adapter. The Android port can be located underneath the camera. How to use a plastic protective case slash camera mount. As you can see here, 
the camera mount functions as a case for the camera when traveling and if turned over can serve as a mount for you to shoot remotely. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, email us at sclibrary.california360 at gmail.com.